Hello, and uh, welcome to the Randy Steffes Show. And uh, step number one, let's thank the camperman. Camperman, cameraman, Johnny Arkansas. I think I may have had a drink in between filming episodes. I think everyone should have a cup of coffee when they fix guitars, when they file frets. Coffee achieved. If you've All been right. filing frets for two hours, Always have a cup of coffee. It was just an hour and a half, and we took down these edges. I'm gonna take the masking tape off. We can continue our fun with the Kramer Beretta, Kramer Pacer. We were talking about Berettas. Leco Ray showed up. Leco showed up. Our friend Leco's here. Yeah. Maybe Leco will say hi later. He's a plays bass guitar. He plays trees. He plays trees. Mm -hmm. Upright bass trees. Yeah. Masking tape. Masking tape. What. Masking tape. How much masking tape do we use on this? A lot. A lot of masking tape. Too much. Too much masking tape. It's a tape. polishing episode. First time we get this masking tape off. How about those Bruins? How about them Bruins? How about hockey? Hockey with no fans. Are you, uh, because you're from Canada, you're uh, uncomfortable about the uh, lack of interest in hockey? We need more interest in hockey, that's for sure. I'm an Islanders guy, man. You like the Islanders? They're going to make the playoffs like everybody else. I like the Rangers. This guitar show is slowly turning into a sports show. Slowly turning into a sports show. Because it takes so long. For this whole episode might just be me taking the masking tape off. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Like a, that, oh, chiming in, you know, live studio audience. Chiming in with the live studio audience. Randy Steffes Show, filmed before a live studio audience. Filmed before a live studio audience. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this is good masking tape. <laughs> and a lot of it. Do you know what I'm going to do when I get this masking tape off? Is I'm going to put more masking tape on this guitar. <laughs> Yeah, this I'm is kidding. the polishing I'm lesson. Not. We're going to get a little more shiny on this. We're going to clean up the rough bits from the fret sprout issue that we've worked on. Maybe you should rub some liquid mercury on your uh, fretboard before you put the masking tape to peel off or look easier. <laughs> liquid mercury. Yeah. Why would, I, I just don't think that's a good idea on many levels. It's not safe. It's poisonous. I don't really see how it would work. Yeah. Well. I mostly just want to see what I've done so far. What's his name? Nick Sabo from uh, Skid Row? I don't think that's his name. What's his name? Sabo? Nick Sabo? Is it Nick? I don't remember. I thought you were a fan of Skid I, I am, and I, was, and I was listening to him, and I'm a fan of his Beretta. You're talking about Berettas from the last episode. But I... We were talking about Berettas. He was making the Beretta sound I wanted, and he had a guitar with a snake with the human teeth, and I wanted... You want the Sabo Beretta. But I can't remember the guy's name. Nick Sabo from Skid Row. Skid Row, Mr. Sabo. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sabo from Skid Row. Man's a genius. Man's a great guitar player. And he likes Kramers. Well, we were looking on that certain video. And we we like Kramers. Were we able to decide that that was a Kramer? We weren't sure. The vintage one that we were... The, the well, no, we didn't know. Like, like He you? might have been endorsed by somebody else at that time, Randy. I don't think he was endorsed by Kramer back in the day, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, they missed out. Maybe he played one of 
I don't know that he played one. He seems to like them. Well, they missed out on it. For he sure. went to him and they went, "Hey, you want a pro model Kramer?" And he's like, "Yeah, make me a Beretta with a snake on it." With human teeth. A snake with human teeth. On it. <laughs> you keep leaving that out. That's the most. That's important. the best part about that snake graphic is the human teeth. Right? That's probably how he felt in Skin Row. In Skid Row. Every time he went to do a ripping guitar solo, he was like, uh, I feel like a snake with human teeth. I wonder why his nickname is Snake. Snake Sobo with human teeth. Snake with human teeth. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So. Can I be called the Dragon Arkansas? The oh. dra uh, Johnny the Dragon, Arkansas? No, just Dragon. Just Dragon. Everyone Arkansas. just calls me Dragon. I'm going to use this stuff to polish some frats. 3M Trimite Wet or Dry. We're going to use it dry. 3M <coughs> Trimite? Yeah. And Wet or dry? And I'm going to do the opposite of what you Are you going to wet it? I'm not. I'm not. But I am going to do the opposite of what you might get told to do which is start with the coarsest stuff and work your way to the thin stuff I'm gonna start with the thinnest stuff like the most fine this like 8,000 grit I'm gonna start with that and if that's not enough then I'm gonna step it up and yeah we're just gonna I feel like you're making like a the Mona Lisa you're polishing that's what you mean by polishing like ancient Mayan here's where we're hopefully gonna get it to a mirror a mirror like finish on the frets what do you call it polishing is what a mirror like I want it mirror like you know when we took those close ups mean? a few episodes ago like it means that they're gonna shine like a mirror I'm gonna make a shiny mirror like frets going to cut a strip off of this. I don't think I really even need to tape off the rosewood to use this stuff. It's like almost hard to tell what side of it I'm supposed to use. It's so fine. And like on the rosewood, it, it doesn't do anything. <clears throat> Maybe I have to get a slightly coarser grit, but I'm going to start with the finest one and see if how I do with that. See if I want if I want a more aggressive bit. Here's our fancy popsicle stick. I might glue some of this to a popsicle stick, make my own kind of file. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. I'm not recommending you try this at home. Well, Leko Reis came. Leko, you should come and look at this. You're you're a woodsmith. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. Not at all. A He's woodsmith. a woodsmith. Not at all a woodsmith. He has a big old. Uh, he plays. He takes a tree trunk around on the A train and shit. That's hardcore. I'm liking this. I think it's doing a good job. As you can hear, Leko, that's Leko playing in the background. He's not that great of a guitar player. He hits the instrument too hard. You, can, you know. Right, Randy? Hits it too hard. I yeah, bet. what do you call it? A, an attack? <coughs> bass player. He has a bass player guitar. style. He's got a bass player. Of attack. Style. I think this works best if I just use my finger. Yeah, I can kind of. This is like ancient Egypt. I feel like I'm uh, documenting like the ancient Egyptians. <laughs> Making a uh, polishing a piece of uh, granite. I can still feel those little 
activity bits. But let me see if we smooth <coughs> it out. I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna get close on that. That's pretty clean, right? That's pretty clean. I can still see a few. Yeah, there's a couple. Maybe I will step up to some slightly. Th Just sell this guitar to Lee Rittenhauer, man. Just sell the guitar. Gotcha. To Lee Rittenhauer. Actually, I'm gonna just step up a gauge in this stuff. See how sharp I want to get. Robin Trower. Did he? Ever... <laughs> Robin Trower. He, he, is that his name? He sounds. He'd sound good on it. Sound good on this. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Randy? Let's see how aggressive this stuff is. Why are you laughing when I said Robin Trow? I don't know. Thought it was funny. He's not funny. He's a serious blues man. I think that feels pretty good. I'm gonna use that one a little bit too. Just a little more of this one. I'm gonna move on. You reuse the same tape. I'm reusing the same tape. Because you're frugal. Because <laughs> tape's expensive and not that expensive. You see how hard it is getting this stuff. We explained in the last off. episode how cheap it was. This tape's cheap, you're right. It's Jesus cheap. Christ. This tape is cheap. Here's my popsicle stick, crap stick. And back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And back and forth, and back and forth. I really just want people to put this video on at night and for it to be like counting sheep just back and forth. Randy, do you believe in aliens? I feel like this many episodes in we should get something to, you know. We should start talking about whether I believe in You know, aliens. we should know something about you. You know, like, so like, do you do believe, I believe in aliens? in aliens? What's the mathematics behind it, Randy? The Drake equation. Exactly. Yeah. I, I want to learn more about Randy. About aliens? I know that all you do is make videos about guitars, but like, what's something about, don't you have a hobby? Um, I think this is it. <laughs> the hobby is play guitars. Play guitars, fix guitars, that's the hobby. God. I like this stuff. Man. Well, you're going to give yourself a what coronary. I can do with this stuff, it just... You don't do anything else? You don't like go play putt putt or no, don't nothing. Play putt -putt. You don't ride. You go to amusement parks. Nope, no. not Randy Steffes. Nope, not Randy Steffes. All he does is uh, is uh, take a little piece of paper, rub it on his uh, metal part of his guitar. That's all he does. He's good at cooking, Johnny. He is. We do like to cook around here. He is. Maybe he'll make us tacos. Hopefully. They're Out. making tacos later for dinner. There's there's requests in and, and got some ground pork to use up. So it's gonna be pork tacos for dinner. He has no other interests. <laughs> Randy Steffes, you're a hard man. Pork tacos and guitars, that's it. Pork tacos and guitars. Absolutely. So yeah, uh, popsicle stick, guitar fixing tool, the good old craft stick. See the fretware in this fret pretty good. That's a genius. Did you learn that from the big dog? I don't know where I picked that one up, but I don't think it was a Fat Dog thing, but Fat Dog definitely would make any tool before buying it. 
Well, they say that uh, San Francisco is not a hip scene, but you've changed my mind in these last few episodes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe I'll move there. Yeah. Move on up San Francisco. Get myself a, like a, what, like an Afro wig and some cocaine. Get you some Afro cocaine in. And then I will fit in. <laughs> then you'll fit right, right You lived in. there, Randy. You lived Randy. there for your years, yeah. You think I'd fit in if I got myself an Afro wig and some cocaine? I think you would. I think you fit in anywhere, John. You're just that kind of guy. You know how to fit yourself into any given situation. Not in the guitar world. I think that's working pretty good. I like it. We're getting shinier. Then you move it down a step. And I'm just gonna keep using that same tape. And hit it with the... And I'm hitting it with... Hit it with the uh, tongue depressor. Hit it with the tongue depressor. Hit it I with call the, it a tongue depressor. What would you call it? craft stick I think a craft stick I think that's what it said on the packaging I call it a tongue depressor so I like it for this part where I can just push it <laughs> take my tongue depressor here like when you go to the dentist mm-hmm open up and say oh great album great okay he plays Kramer's CC DeVille I don't think so I think he played BC Riches Oh, Maybe wrong I'm wrong again. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't have any BC Rich guitars, but they sure look cool, don't they? I like BC Rich guitar. We got ice cream. Jill's, Jill got some ice cream. The delivery man brought ice cream. Pork tacos and ice cream coming up next on the Randy Steffa Show. Randy Steffa Show. Episode number 25. Pork tacos and ice cream. Everyone can hear you guys whisper. Sorry, guys. The internet knows. It's okay. Everyone knows you're here. The whole COVID so, bubble. Okay, so if you're gonna have a you know guitar shop, you know, and you're doing all this stuff to your guitar, make sure you got some like buddies hanging around to get some ice cream to you. Yeah, that would be another important thing. I feel like you don't really explain everything, Randy. I don't you really sort explain of gloss everything. over stuff. Kind of gloss over stuff. That's true can't really explain everything like there's so much well it's an everything. instructional video you have to explain everything that's a point well I don't I don't know if it, that is the point I don't know. Okay, maybe, it's not. maybe that's not the point maybe the point is someone just wants to see a Kramer Beretta ex exploded tongue depressor I keep calling it a Beretta, but it's a Pacer. It's, it's not a Beretta. It's not a Beretta. Actually, sometimes I call this guitar Hagar. Oh. From I like Montrose? to nickname my guitars, but I like to call this one Hagar. From Montrose? Because it's... This is what Sammy played, man. He's he, he played like a Pacer. You think this is the style of guitar he played on I Can't Drive 55? I think it might be, actually. He had like these sparkle red pacers, and that's exactly what this guitar is. Wow. The sparkle red pacer. So, I call it Hagar. It's my nickname for this one. And it has this kind of hockey style uh, headstock. Yeah, people call that a hockey stick. It is the hockey stick. I like the way this stuff just kind of forms around that edge.
Leco, come check this out, man. Special guest. Leco's, it's not cool having a special guest Leco's if they don't come on. Oh, was it eating chips? It's cargo. John, this is amazing. It's got the it's it's bar going. It's on sponsor. It's it. It it. I don't understand Portuguese, so. See, that's why I don't want to be in there. <laughs> what did he say? If he spoke Portuguese, I think he would come here and check it out. Yeah, that's what he said. I I don't understand Portuguese. Mm -hmm. You could come here and like translate everything I'm saying into Portuguese, and then like mm. the Brazilians will know how to finally fix their guitars. Good but, idea. But he won't. He's too busy in there eating uh, chips. Mm. Eating the chips. Eating the chips. He's experiencing his first it's bar. They're really good, aren't they? It's it's Man. bars. It's because it's not what you put. What's an it's bar? Right. It's it. It's it. Yeah. What is it? It's Are you like talking about Faith cream. No More? No, it's this like ice cream sandwich bar that we like around here. Oh, man. I think they're local to this part of the world. They're a New York, New Jersey thing or something. Michael's going to love that. He has a sweet tooth. Uh, you don't have a sweet tooth, do you? I had one. You had one. When you had teeth, you had but sweet teeth. But it fell out, right? Your sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> now I just eat soup and mashed potatoes. Thanks for asking. Soup and mashed potatoes. I bet Tracy Guns, that's what he has to do. This is episode sponsored by LA Guns. LA Guns? Yeah. This episode is sponsored by LA Guns. The greatest rock band from LA. Mm. LA Guns. Not the Guns N' Roses? No. So are they the LA He guns? quit them. <laughs> oh, it's the same guy. Are you serious? He quit them, dude. He quit whom? What did you say to me? Who? <laughs> I'm saying, man, Tracy Guns. Tra this episode is sponsored by Tracy Guns from LA Guns, non affiliated with Guns N' Roses. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. <laughs> How weak it is that you can see me. Uh huh. How weak is it? It's pretty yeah. weak. Yeah. You're talking about the Guns N' Roses, right? You're not talking about Tracy Guns. He invented LA rock and roll. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> and you're an expert? You were out there on the Sunset Strip? With these kinds of guitars? You weren't out there, let go. Nah, I was in Ipanema. Yeah, yeah. Milton Banana. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ipanema, man. I wish I was in Ipanema. Oh, man. This guitar was out there with, uh, uh, this guitar was out there with, uh, fucking, uh, bang your head. Metal health will drive you mad. Quite right. They play Kramers. Did they play Kramers? Did Quiet Riot play Kramers? Did they play Right? Bon Jovi yeah. played Kramers. I got the Richie Sam board. Yes. Vivian Campbell played the Kramers. Oh, Vivian and Vivian Campbell. Possibly the greatest guitar player. Marty Friedman? I don't think Marty played Kramer's. He plays like uh, something weird. He like a Charvels or something. Yeah, for the competition a while, he for playing. Kramer. Competition Kramer. Well, Charvel was like the competition for the Kramer's, right? I think Friedman was playing a Charvel for They're a while. All from that era of hair metal. Or Jackson. Jacksons, Charvels. 
Charvel and Jackson. Here comes Charvel Jackson. And polishing and polishing and polishing and polishing. Back and forth we go and back and forth we go. Get my little tooth. My little tongue depressor. Tongue depressor. Out with the tongue depressor. This is great for getting the sides. This is the weirdest movie I've ever shot. You would know. You shot some movies. A lot of footage. I like your western. Yeah. Leka was in a movie with me. Yeah, that's right. What was your line? Hey, Mr. Bartender, please, can I have, what was the drink? Uh, a Peps? No. Uh, it was a drink. What is it, man? It was a beer and a... Bourbon. And a... What is, uh, Peps, a Peps, a Blue two Peps, Peps Blue, Blue Ribbons, and a Bourbon. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, man. Right? <laughs> That's filmmaking, man. That's filmmaking, all right. Who but this is more like documentary style. This you is know, documentary. Like me and me and Leko, last time we shot was more, of, you know, like art. Yeah, right. We're artists. Art. Artist. No, you are. I'm not. Who wrote that line? You did. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to hear a dude from Brazil say something. Like yeah. I'm from North Carolina. Isn't that what <laughs> I remember? <laughs> I was from North Carolina. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. You knocked over Randall. Yeah, you did. He'll survive. He's a monster. He's a monster. Randall. I think there's a little too much shadow on that shot. I don't think you can see Randall. Hold him up for you. Randall. You close Yeah. Are you helping? <laughs> Are you helping? What? You, what? Saint. There, Assistant director. Ooh, what I want is a workbench. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be cool. I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. Randy? Yes, sir. I was thinking that what I was, would do normally would just go to my brother's house and steal his guitar. That's what he said. I guess that could be an option. And then take it apart and fix it and give it back to him so that I had a guitar to play whenever I went to his house. Sure. I leave a guitar at your house, so whenever I'm at your house, I have a guitar to play. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you do. Leave your extra guitars laying around your friend's house, so you've got something to play when you're there. But Mathis said no. Mathis Hopefully, he'll no. come on to the Randy Stephens show at some point. Get Mathis on the Randy. Oh, Stephens he'd be show. a great personality. I think he would be a good guest. I think he would have good questions. Your brother. He likes guitars. He doesn't really play guitar, but he likes them. He's got a couple. Maybe he would be a good luthier. <laughs> Let's start calling him that. Luthier. <laughs> <laughs> he would love that. <laughs> we call him that. Luthier. Yeah, luthier. Okay. Good morning, luthier. <laughs> you have to call. Okay. Like I was laughing about it. Because he is. He's a master luthier. He is. 
He's a penis. Suck my luthier. <laughs> Suck my luthier. Suck my Mathis. <laughs> Start talking about him like he's a dick. He's a hard man. He's your friend. He's your best friend in New York, Mathis. True. You guys hang out. Mm-hmm. I like Mathis because whenever I go visit him, he pulls out the good whiskey. Nice. Doesn't do that to John. No. no you guys when John know. comes over, he hides the good whiskey. It costs me money. <laughs> That's not why he said last night. He said that you steal from him. <laughs> He's a liar. Too. Always says that too. <laughs> He's a liar, a pervert. That's and what a he thief. said. That's what he said about you. Yeah, but you got a key to his place, so if he really cared about you stealing from him, you think he might take his key back from you. He tried one time. Didn't work. I said I no. No, I'm not giving you back your key. <laughs> no. <laughs> what if I have to go in there? I said to him. And that stumped him. Now do you, why would you have to go in there? Just to steal to stuff. save his, his stuff. life. No. What do you mean? What's going to happen to him? That's what I'm saying. So He well, has a high blood pressure. Good, but that's not a problem. <laughs> No, that's a problem. <laughs> uh, not for Mathis. You think he's going to shake it off? Yeah. Shake it off. Shake it off. I think he needs to calm down. I think he has too much stress. You stress him. Huh? Because you stress him out. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. You stress him out. If you had my place keys, I would be stressed out too. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you had my keys, I'd be stressed out too, John. <laughs> I don't think I'd make that mistake Mathis made. This give is you a keys guitar to. video. <laughs> wow, no, it's therapy. No, no, it's therapy. <laughs> it's real now life it's a, TV. This is live therapy session yeah. with Johnny wow. Arkansas. Johnny Arkansas. Johnny Arkansas Wild therapy. The guitar, realize. Yeah, I realize that. Uh, that you're giving your brother high blood pressure. <laughs> 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 what do we call him? Mathis Arkansas? No, the Luthier. I call him oh, Coach. <laughs> I call him Coach Madness. <laughs> Coach Madness. Oh Luthier. my God, the Luthier. Coach Madness. I think that's the best. Yeah, yeah. he is he's the Coach Madness. He, he's, he's the, the coach, coach Madness. He's man. Coach Madness, man. We need him for some stuff. You know? Oh yeah, he's smart. Coach Madness. Hard to believe you guys are brothers. It's <sighs> very hard to believe. Except you kind of look like twins almost. I know. He's a big old, you know, softy. Joel is the black sheep. What? What do you call it? Black sheep. A what kind of sheep? <laughs> was that racist? A little bit. <laughs> you made me feel uh, alienated. Sorry. From the guitar video. From the polishing, the Egyptian polishing of guitar <laughs> Egyptian Jeez, polishing? God. Why is it Egyptian? Because I feel like you're just like polishing ground. Like, what? Well, come on. That's the video. This is the whole video, Leko, yeah. <laughs> just, That's the main element. I just want to show it all. I want to document it all. I want to be able to look back at this and go, look what I did on YouTube. While we talked about Mathis? When we talked about your brother, Mathis. He put his dirty laundry out there. Mathis' dirty laundry going yeah. out there. Well, hopefully he watches it. Maybe he'll come in, uh, what do you call it, Leko? And someone, you have to come and retort it. You have to come back and uh, defend itself. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to You need to defend yourself, no? Me? Yeah. For what? For giving him high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> You're back on this key thing. Yeah. <laughs> back on the key thing. We're going to have to sign off soon, Randy, because you only have 5% five, uh, 5 left. We're going to have to sign off soon because we're running out of power. Yep, we're running low. Well, you know, maybe we won't show all of this. I got, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10 frets to go. 
We're, we're more than halfway done. There's only 21 frets, and I got a Look, Ray, he's a famous bass player in the house. This, this episode brought to you by David Gage. <laughs> no, it is not. I guess if we're going to sign off, we should see how shiny what I yeah, do is. You know? That looks great. Let's see Hold it up difference? flat, though, so you can see. See any difference, maybe, between the gold and the weirdness there? And that's not touched yet. And then getting shinier and shinier and shinier. And shiny is what we want, because shiny frets are fast frets. Doot, 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 doot.